Okay, here's the deal. I've got these pretty flowers. These are some pretty flowers that um, we're gonna make today. Um, here is the pattern for these pretty flowers. Let me just show you. I saw this <clears throat> and I thought, I can, <laughs> I can draw a kidney shape. <laughs> That's what these are. I've labeled them one, two, three, and four, okay? I just took my little pencil and I went like this. <laughs> it looks like a jelly belly bean, right? <laughs> looks just like jelly bellies, right? Or a kidney shape. So I did four. Small, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, and the extra large, okay? And I cut them out, out of cardstock, because it's easier with cardstock. And what I did was I cut them out, okay? so. Um, one flower I'm doing with just three of them and another flower I'm doing with four of them. After you cut these out, okay, you're gonna need these for the palm. I'm doing these with this acetate, it comes on a roll, um, clear sheer, it's a sheer fabric, comes on a roll, you can get it at Hobby Lobby, any craft store sells it. And it's got lots of acetate in it and that's what you want because you're gonna burn, baby burn. Your fabric, <clears throat> has to have acetate in it too. Now I chose this, it's kind of a silk fabric, in it, right? And that's the stuff that burns the best. It burns really, really well. And what, what it does is it curls when it burns. So you've got this kidney shape, right? And what happens is it curls up, it just curls. So, isn't that cool? That's neat, eh, Donna? Anyway, uh, thank you, Darlene. Um, so, okay. Here is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to do one of these, but what you need is about four of each of these, depending on the flower size you're gonna make. If you're gonna make a bigger flower, okay, you're gonna need four of each of these of each um, fabric, and there's two types of fabric in this. Okay. So, okay, this is what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take the smallest one, because why not, right? Anyway, okay, so you have this on a roll, right? So, you put the pattern piece like this, and you get one of them. You need four per, um, per fabric. So you got one, you fold it over, and you got two, right? And then you fold it over again, and you got three, and you fold it over again, and you got four. Ba-bam! You cut off that puppy just like that. I like to put my thumb in the middle, and just kind of go around it. Now this is not a pattern as patterns go. I am just gonna use this as a, mm, a guide, okay? Because you're gonna see what happens to these babies once we burn the sides, right? Okay, so here we go. I'm just, and I like to make these sheer ones just ever so slightly bigger than the pattern. Okay, now I got about halfway. I'm gonna rotate it, take my thumb and rotate it like that. Okay, because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna finish it off and it's gonna be pretty much the shape of a jelly bean, a jelly belly bean, right? Okay. And we got four of them now, right? Because like I said, you need four of each fabric. Whatever fabric you're gonna use, you need four of each of these. Minimum, you might even want five or six if you want a fuller flower. The more petals, the merrier, right? That's what makes it so pretty. Okay. Okay. Now this curls the way it was on the spool. So here I go. I'm gonna apply, I want you to see this, how quickly this acetate gets curls. I'm just gonna get it close. I'm not even close and it's already starting to move. You see it curling? Can you see that? See how it's curling? This is the small one, okay? And then you turn it. Now, if, the, if you're sensitive and it bothers your hands, Grab yourself a needle nose plier and do it that way. Yeah. Ba bam, you've got a flower petal. Now you need uh, 16 of these because you're gonna need four of each side. You're gonna need 16 of whatever other acetate um, fabric that you choose. I chose this. Uh, it's like a silky fabric and I love the color. And what happens when you burn the sides of it, the edges of it, is it looks very vintage. You see that? See how that's like got a vintage look? I'm going to show you what I started. What I started already. Okay, what you need 
for the center because here's the thing you can use a little styrofoam ball and stick a stick up in it or you can uh, stick a, uh, a flower stem and a chenille stem and then then you can wrap it in this stuff here you know make it look like um, like a flower stem okay or you can use a fake flower stem if you want but I don't need a stem for what I'm going to use these for so um, what you do need is a center to put your petals around okay. a piece of the acetate if you want you can just take a little square of it like this okay you can do one of two things you can take a needle and thread and you can make a circle okay and then go in and out in and out all the way around the circle pull it tight put a little bit of fiber fill in it and pull it tight and knot it off and you've got this little center for your flower or you don't even have to do that in and out thing you can take a square of it like this and just put the little bit of fiber fill in the middle and pull it up okay just pull it up and just go in and out a couple times and then take your thread and just wrap it around really tight really tight then go in and out again and knot it off and you've got the same thing you can so. see how this is um, coming out a little differently than these okay these are flat ish they're kind of flat like a cabbage grows right in the garden but these are more like a peony these are more like um, they sit up because I'm applying them differently the, the rose petals. All right so I've got my center <laughs> I need my four pieces I said four not five I need my four baby pieces that I did here you take your your little center turn it upside down okay and I'm put this over here because I need my hot glue um, you're gonna take the clamshell this isn't a very good example see how it see how this part right here is kind of kind of cinches in a little bit the bottom of like the as a clamshell would look like you'd have the rounded part then you'd have the bottom part that's the part you want to put at the bottom of this of the of your your center okay does that make sense that part goes to the bottom like that okay so what you do is you just take a little bit of hot glue just like this And what helps with this project immensely is these bad boys. Put a little bit of hot glue on it and then push it down, kind of pinch it. And let it come up over a little bit, that's done. Okay, and you're gonna overlap. See the last petal, I overlapped it about a half inch. Maybe, maybe a little more than a half an inch, okay? And it starts taking on the shape of your flower. Okay. And here's the thing with these, depending on the way they curl these petals, I'm noticing you can get away with three in the beginning. The smaller petals, you can get away with just three um, because some of them are curled really, really tightly and some of them not so much. So I'm just gonna secure it down around this center so um, next are the petals the flower petals okay and I'm just gonna just get to get put start applying them now I'm gonna turn this upside down because that's how it's gonna go okay this flower petal I'm just gonna put it on and kind of pinch it like this it's so pretty you guys I'm just adding just a little dabs of blue on there. You don't need a lot. Okay, that's that one. Okay, now you're gonna go back to the acetate. You're gonna go to the next size up of the acetate and you're just gonna keep building. That's all this is. You just build it up around the flower. Here's 
what we've got. Isn't this pretty, you guys? Seriously, I could just see this on a jean jacket. I really, really like this one on it. I do. I'm going to end this one. Now, what I like to do typically is put a little bit of E6000 on where I know it's going to touch, and it's going to touch in the center. However, it's going to touch around the edges as well, and I'm going to hot glue that. But the E6000 is going to ensure that um, it's not going to fall off on somebody. Ta-da! Okay, let's just finish this one because this one's really close to being done. Really close. And then we can jazz it up. Okay, so we've got these going next because last the last layer I had was fabric. And this, no lie, came from the Dollar Tree. It was a pillowcase, you guys. They used to have them in different colors, the pillowcases. I don't know if they still do, but they used to have them in different colors. And so, you know, you could choose whatever color suits your fancy. Okay. <laughs> so. Overlap it just a little bit. Okay, back to the bling. Who wants to see some more bling here? I think I'm gonna go with this. I love this. Can you see this? This pretty little, the little pearl. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this because I think it's darling. I love this. So pretty. Okay, a little bit of E6000 in the middle, like the last one. All right. Okay, here it goes. Here we go. Is this not beautiful? Okay, guys, I hope you're going to give these a try. Totally Dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies. Check us out at totallydazzled.com. But before you do, click up here and download our free printable sparkle quotes. Or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials.